the writer and director on the phone yet? Oh, okay, great. I just heard Gil talking. Um, and also, Omar Reagan, Reagan acts in it as well. Omar, we welcome you to the show. How are you today? Hello there, Mary Beth. How you doing? <laughs> okay, so I quizzed everybody, and okay. they said, I said, if I told you a movie called American Sharia was playing in Memphis, would you go? And and they were afraid because I think they thought that the uh, in this super um, politicized atmosphere that we have right now, like there might be protesters or whatever. So the title was scaring them. So put us to rest. Tell us the story of American Sharia. Oh, Megan, you know what? I apologize for scaring everybody. But <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to grab everybody's attention because there's no Sharia in America. Um, and then I wanted to educate people on what Sharia really is, that it's not control, kill, or everything that's based upon what they might see from the news clips of ISIS or, you know, anybody who's claiming, any Muslim country may be claiming to uh, want to, you know, uh, uh, lead by Sharia law. I mean, Sharia law, I mean, if anybody ever studied it, it is the most amazing thing ever where there's nobody ever convicted of any crimes or anything uh, in Sharia because he, it, it's to bring people together and it's only to, like, you know, scare people from committing any crimes the same as American law. So there's but, just a lot of a mis there's a misinformation out there is what you're saying. There's so much going on out there and it's making everybody afraid. And if they was just to look at, you know, I mean, research it to come and watch the movie, then they would have a better understanding as opposed to we're we're all Muslims are afraid of people who claim to push <laughs> the real law. Muslims are more afraid of, the, of it than everybody else, I would say. <laughs> And you approach this um, from a comedic point of view, which is really, really smart, because if you can get people laughing, sometimes they will see how ridiculous some of their misconceptions are. So so it's set in Detroit, right? Tell us the story of, of the movie, just the plot, a little bit of the plot. Well, the plot is there's an uh, African-American cop who's like having an identity crisis between his job and being a Muslim, and then there's uh, he's partnered with an a immigrant cop who's like, oh, man, we should, you know, I mean, we need to follow the rules and go by the book. And he's, like, talking Sharia. And he's like, what are you talking about Sharia? And this guy, he has studied Sharia. So that his whole goal, he's letting people go, who you know, who's stealing and he's freeing people. He's like, what are you doing? Like, he was like, man, you know, I mean, I mean the people, not, people have no idea what Sharia is. So... His goal is to, like, provide a positive outlook on what Sharia really is as opposed to the negative stigma that people may do and, you know, and then blame it on Sharia. So, uh -huh. it's, uh, But in the meantime, I'm sure the bosses are not too happy that all these uh, wrongdoers are being let go. Yeah, in the meantime, it's a bunch of chaos because there's a chief who wants to be, uh, stay in, um, uh, you know, be reelected, and he's going, and then you have an advisor, and everybody has an ulterior motive inside of this film, uh, and so it's like, where, where does all of this drama come from? Where does Islamophobia really come from? Uh, is it really Islam, or is it really people, and they're taking it and spinning it for their own, you know, positive gain or negative gain? Okay, Reagan has a question. What prompted you to create a story like this? Because, of course, you know that people are afraid of Sharia law. And yeah. I would probably say maybe black men. So you put two. <laughs> <laughs> you put two of these America's Most Wanted in a movie. <laughs> well, well, one, is because I'm living both, right? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm living both as a black man and as a Muslim. And then I have children. And I'm saying, wow, nobody really knows what's going on. Like, everybody, I feel like even, to be honest with you, Muslims don't even know anymore. Because they're like, well, what is it? So I, I wanted to really go steady and then re-educate the minds of everybody. Like, guys, we got to stop allowing people to use these buzzwords and keep us divided. Because we're really in this thing together. And I don't like, uh, I don't like that religion seems to divide people. 
um, because Islam is a way of life. You follow Christ, it's a way of life. You follow Moses and David, it's a way of life. So I want to get back to that, to stop these Muslims and Christians and Jews. We're all in our own bubbles, and we really need each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the, and the, the scriptures is for us to be united and love and care and respect and honor each other. Then we have to get back to that. And I, I wanted to... I'm down. I to, yeah, I'm down. Man. I'm down with that. I'm yeah. down with that. Right. Okay. I, I wanted to start with addressing the elephant in. Well, it ain't in the room anymore. <laughs> but <laughs> it's on the big screen yeah. now. So, so what's been the reaction uh, where it's already been shown? Because it will show in Memphis. One showing on the seventh. Um, so, what's been the reaction so far? You know, from everybody that sees the movie, they love the film. They all, my biggest con uh, constructive criticism is that I might have been a little too wordy in there. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> and I was like, I get it, you know, but I have my own personal reasons for that. Uh, but everybody that sees the movie, they love the movie. But uh, it's a lot of my biggest critics, to be honest with you, Mary Beth, is Muslim. Really? I, why? I, that's why I, I well... They have an idea that um, because I'm, I laugh, my personality, I laugh that I'm mocking Islam. Oh. When, you know, and these people, they just uh, jump to conclusions. Just as some of my good, uh, I got a lot of good white Christians, I said, because I didn't see any black ones on there. And they was like, hey, you have to have <laughs> And I was like, guys, nice, come by. So what I love is that Muslims in Memphis and Hollywood would like to invite people of other faiths. We're going to sponsor, like, the first 50 of them to come by and just watch the film and let's have some dialogue because the whole objective for Muslims in Memphis to bring this film to Memphis is to build the bridges and to just, you know, like, let's get in the room, let's laugh together, let's talk about it, and let's build some better relationships because we're only divided because of the media and then maybe people from overseas and different ideas of what's going on from overseas and that we bring that over here and, and we target each other, you know, based upon some things that we don't even know or we, or we misunderstand. And you are going to be here on the 7th. In fact, after the, after the film, you're going to take questions. Right? So if we come and bring a really stupid question like uh, somebody, anybody got a stupid, you know, that sometimes because we... We've listened to all the rhetoric. We think, you know, <laughs> that, uh, you know, just whatever. It, we're not going to be laughed out of the room. I mean, the whole idea is just to open up a dialogue and go, I'm, I'm Christian and I don't really understand this part of it. I can ask that out loud and nobody's going to. Oh, yeah. Sarah Beth. Sarah Beth, who is Jewish, uh, yeah, has a question. That's what I was going to say. So, um, I, I, I'm not sure that I'm completely interested in, like, I don't think I'm not fearful enough to go and see the movie but first of all i'll say that it's i definitely appreciate that you bring a comedy to it first because sometimes that lets everybody's guard down to understand what the truth is but yeah. what is the little white jewish girl who's privileged in the back of the room that has her hand up to ask a question about a sharia law movie it, it's a little scary i don't know who's going to be there i don't know what's going to be said i don't know what's going to happen when i walk to my car you know, there's still a lot of fears in me personally. So, you know, I would love to see the movie, but yeah, I'm going to wait until it comes out on video and I can watch it at home on Netflix. But then you know, but I, and I respect that because, but the, we have to break down to where the fear is coming from. Because you're in a, you're inside of a room full of people, everybody that wants to build a better relationship. Like the organization Muslims in Memphis is already doing interfaith work. So you're in a room of people that focus just like you are. And we have to break down, where's that fear coming from? Because it, it won't be in the room. Everybody is coming is like, hey, we want to build. Let's find out what this really is, what's going on. So even even with that, I would say, oh, you know, we'll have security for you personally. <laughs> I'll pay those guys. <laughs> we'll get free guys there, and they'll do a better <laughs> job than them Kim Kardashian people. <laughs> Right, right, right. Oh, I love you. I love you. And this will be this will be at the uh, at the University of Memphis too. So I I don't think that we need to worry that there's going to be some crazy protesters or something because it is part of Muslims uh, in Memphis and really wanting to to you know kind of bridge that divide, which is so important. So and if are there, I want them to come in and it's just I mean. If 
if people are not filled with hate, like, this is the problem. Like, if you're inviting people, come and enjoy this and let's talk about it. If people don't say, no, I don't want to talk about it, I don't want to, I hate, I hate, then it's like, well, we're not, I mean, as a country, we're not doing a good job. And as people, we're not doing a good job. Yeah. You know, so we have to, we have, if we really, I mean, I would say this for my, my Christians, any of my Jews, like, oh, my goodness, I'm, I'm reaching out to uh, Harry Rosenberg and Rabbi Harry <laughs> Rosenberg. Oh, yeah. Because I, yes, because um, I have, you know, this for my next film, but that's for a different interview. Uh, <laughs> but it's like, I really, I'm focused on us really coming together. And I love things that he said. I watched his interview, and he's amazing. And I, I want to bring with people like that. I just come from Ethiopia, and I was there, and Christians were wearing hijabs, and they were making prayer um, like Muslims do, prostrating. And I was like, the world doesn't know this. Like, this is it's the, the, the division or the divide is really coming from us being programmed by media, and we're not really interacting with each other and just having dialogue. We're not eating with each other. We're not being good neighbors to each other. You know, and all of these things inside of all of our scriptures, Muslim, Christians, and Jews, all of us, we have the same message, but we are allowing everything to divide us, and that's the focus for Hollywood is to make films that will build bridges, that will unite people of faith. And, you know, I think we have more in common than not. So hopefully, hopefully you will be there. And if you need to, you can stand next to me. If anybody's <laughs> next to you. Well, I, I will say, at least I know if it's catered, it'll be kosher, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> there, she'll, she'll, there won't be any bacon there, so we'll all be good. Yeah. That's right. It will definitely be good. I love it. And this movie stars Eric Roberts. This um, uh, also stars Omar Reagan, as we mentioned. And yes. the uh, and Baba Ali is the um, crazy for Sharia law cop who is partnered. So it sounds really oh, hilarious. You know, uh, you know what, Mary Beth? Baba Ali is Iranian. Oh, okay. So there you go. There, there. It's like he's like man. There's, and it's another guy. I wanted to get him, Maj Jabrani. He's doing so much interfaith work. Like these are some beautiful people. And Eric Roberts said, "I want to make this movie because the studios would never make the movie." And oh. even though I only had ninety thousand dollars to take this movie, <laughs> then he was like, "No worry, I'm gonna give you a discount because we need to build the, you know, we need to make the story. We need to tell the story." I so. agree. I think we. If only it's only if we if we get that elephant out there right front and center and we talk about it that we can all come together. So. I love it. I'm going to see you on live at 9 on Friday morning, and it'll be on the 7th at 7 p.m. at the Michael Rose Theater for everybody in the Memphis area. I encourage you to come out. Omar, thank you so much for giving us some time. Thank you, Mary Beth. Thank you, everybody over there. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations on the movie. And you have won over Sarah Beth. All right, we'll be right <laughs> back. We're going to play a quiz. What's the name of this quiz game that we're going to play, Gil?